Hey, what's going on legends? Welcome back. So in the last video, we talked about adding transitions to our movies in Final Cut Pro 10. In this video, we're going to customize them. So this is cool. And I do play around with this quite frequently. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, I've highlighted transitions right here. You can see it. it's kind of that little envelope looking thing. And I'm going to grab two of the ones I use the most. I'm going to grab a cross dissolve, just drag and drop it in between two somewhat decently lengthy clips and the circle one. So in the last video, we learned how to add transitions as well as set the time duration. And I believe these are one second. I never have a transition over two seconds. So let's check it out really fast. Cross dissolve, looks good. Let's go ahead and drag up the playhead and circle from the inside coming out. Perfect, I wanna customize this though. So what I wanna do is I want to First things first, you're gonna make sure that you have your inspector open. Uh, if you don't see this up on the right hand side, that probably means that this is closed. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is click on this. Now let's get into it. And keep in mind, each transition is gonna have different attributes. So for the circle right here, it's got direction, automatic, center point, or X and Y axis, inspect, yada yada yada. This is the audio, don't worry about this right now. And keep in mind, circle, direction, center point. Now let's go to our cross, cross dissolve transition and what do we got look video ease in and out so it's got a little bit different attributes that's fine we're going to go ahead and play around with both of them right now so what i'm going to do for my circle transition is i'm going to you could have it close or open so right now it's open or it's set to automatic but it's really open so if you wanted to close it check it out so you could do so it's illegal. You see that so it comes together from the outside coming in as opposed to open or automatic, where it's from the inside, it's gonna start with my face and then branch out. So it's illegal to tell. So not gonna make or break your iMovie, or I'm sorry, your movie in Final Cut Pro. Uh, let's keep playing around with it though. I wanna have like, I don't want, say I wanna get rid of the circle. I wanna have more of like a vertical transition, uh, kind of hybrid with the circle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab this inspect all the way to the left. And I actually like this. I actually dig this. So it's illegal to I think that's a pretty cool transition. Um, we can keep going ahead and playing around with it. Edge treatment, we can add a border to it. It's kind of a blur, edge type feather. You can make it solid. I don't know, yeah, don't do that. Um, noir, feather are very similar. Feather is a little bit easier. Let's go ahead and play it. So it's illegal to take Again, not really noticeable unless you're really looking for it. But uh, yeah, we just created a custom transition to Final Cut Pro 10. And if you ever want to get back to your default settings, just go up to here and click on the right hand thing. Uh, the I'm sorry, the bottom the bottom arrow right here. Reset parameter and any other parameters that we messed with. Reset parameters. So now we're back to our default transition, just like that. Um, Let's play around with our cross dissolve really fast. So let's check it out and let's see what we can just notice just from eye catching it. Okay, cross dissolve, just like that. You know what, I'm gonna get rid of cross dissolve and I'm gonna do chevron. Chevron will be a little bit more easier to distinguish because it goes from left to right. So let's go ahead and, and again, there's no right or wrong. Play around with all of your transitions or don't. Play around with maybe just a couple. Okay, so we look at the transition right here and it's going, it's like an arrow going from left to right. Pretty clean, I like it. It doesn't take too much attention off the storyline. What I'm gonna do is, is you add an angle here, you can add keyframes to see which way you wanna do this. Um, I would rather just stick to a left, right, up or down. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset that. And I'm going to Let's go ahead and go from the right to left. No, by default, it should be left to right. Let's check that out. No, by default, it's going to the right. So we clicked left and now it's going to the left. Edge treatment, we can give it some more blur. Feather, give it a border. Uh, again, don't do solid colors. Let's look at that. This looks like a serious. Okay, that's way too noticeable. That stands out way too much. So I'm gonna go back to I'll give it a border of a little bit, feather, and that's kind of it. I will go with that. So that's it. And if you want to copy and paste 
um, say you have this transition and you wanna use it for all your transitions, go ahead and just copy and paste it, uh, Command C, just like that, and let's copy over our circle transition. So I'm gonna hit Command V, just like that. So no more circle, let's see what this, how this looks now. So it's illegal to tag. What was that? Let's go back, was that a glitch? So it's illegal to text and drive. I'm not sure what quite happened there, but that's kind of the gist of how to use a custom transition Final Cut Pro 10. Hopefully this made sense. Good luck with this. In the next video, we're gonna talk about everything else in Final Cut Pro 10. I love you all. I'll see you over there.